Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with some more LEGO City Undercover. In fact, we've got downtown free room for you, where we're going to round up a red brick, we're going to round up 11 character tokens, 5 vehicle tokens, and of course, them 22 gold bricks. You know how we love us some gold. So, uh, yeah, we're going to start things off right where we left off. In fact, we had just finished up, what is it, Festival Square, I believe it's called, and uh, we are just on the old road here. Kind of reminds Reminds me of the old downtown, uh, not downtown, Abbey, Abbey Road. That's right, the old Beatles cover there with the walkway across. But hey, first, we want to make sure you've got this super color gun, red brick, and it's turned on. It's also helpful to have that unlimited dynamite. Now, we actually show you where that super color gun, red brick, is in our preparing for free play video. But uh, hey, if you need some color gun swappers, there's the biggest color gun swapper of them all in the downtown area here. But uh, hey, realistically, it's going to come in handy to go ahead and find that red brick right now. So we highly suggest you watch that preparing for free play video. Meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and start with a, uh, it's actually an objective that requires you to paint three objects. Now, what color do you need it to be? Well, it looks like it needs to be gold, but uh, yeah, we're not, hopefully not wasting our bricks, but hey, they're actually scattered all over the city or the downtown area anyways, and we're going to go ahead and get all three of those right now. Now, keep in mind, we do have quick links for all three of these, including a fourth one for where the token is, because you have to remember to pick up the token. It's not automatic rewarded to you so uh, the second one so you got the first one that's back there by the bank the second one's gonna be down here kind of in the uh, courtyardy area right next to this horsey I'm not sure what's going on with that horsey there but we'll go ahead and paint that guy and we'll back out you can see there's a big Lego sign behind us kind of a couple landmarks here and hey if you notice too that this roar vehicle every time you start going it just lays down the wood and just slides out crazy sideways like there's no way to do anything but slide it's pretty crazy also awesome but uh, all right the third and final little i guess it's kind of like a uh i don't know what, what would you call this it's some sort of like a, a pylon cone or something i don't know what it is but we're gonna paint that gold too because you know what they say when life gives you lemon paint that Cone gold? I don't know. I don't think that's really the saying, but we'll go ahead and use that as our motto for now. You can see once we got the third one painted, it actually spawned a character token for us. We're going to go ahead and complete our swinkle and go ahead and collect that bad boy. Now, I'm on the wrong side of the street here. It's actually over right in front of the big bank entrance. And uh, look at that. We've got the traffic cop. Anybody up for some chips? Look at that. Did you see that? A bike, a motorcycle rolled by right as we got that old traffic cop. That timing was impeccable. But, uh, all right, we're going to head back over to kind of where we spawned over here, and we're going to build up this super brick build. Now, we discovered this a while back during our story playthrough, and uh, it's quite possible that you spent some of your super bricks to build this bad boy up. But if you have not, we're going to go ahead and do it now, and it's also going to yield us a vehicle token for the earwig and also a gold brick. So it'll be our official first gold brick of the downtown area. And look at that, the earwig. Now, I don't know about you, but there's some bugs around here in the Oregon area that uh, we call earwigs. I'm not sure that's like their specific species name, but they have like these little pinchers on their butt. So some people call them pincher bugs. And whenever I think of earwig, I certainly don't think of a vehicle. I think of a little pain in the tuckiest bug that's around my house, especially this time of year. So anyhow, uh, I kind of got lost here. I was looking for a character token that's actually up alongside the side of the bank there, but it actually requires a special entry point. And we're going to find that and show you after we complete this vehicle robbery. So we're going to go ahead and cue this up. And I got a little button happy again and spam, 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 spam. A little too much and hit the circle button and canceled out this vehicle robbery challenge as you can see if you hit the circle button there it takes it away but in our case uh this second time was the charm and i look at that that looks like some sort of like a mustang shelby doesn't that look like a shelby cobra or some sort of like that's what it reminds me of and look at that we've officially got our red brick on for collect sat nab studs so every time we pick up one of those green studs it's actually paying us so by the time we get done with this video, I'm pretty sure we're over the 5 billion mark. I, I could be wrong. Maybe it's the next video, but real soon here, we cross that 5 billion mark. And hey, once you get that 4 billion, you actually get that trophy achievement called, what, Mr. Gold, I think it is? And uh, that's a pretty suiting name, as we like go. But... As you probably figured out by now, one of these vehicle robberies is you got to go take the car and stash it off in a distant location. Now, in this particular case, we're even crossing the bridge and going back into Cherry Tree 
uh, hills, and uh, I think we actually take a right here and uh, go a little bit deeper. But when we finish this, we are a long way away from home, and we actually uh, we show you on the map where we are, and then we target where we're going to go back to, and then we edit out a lot of this driving because it's a long journey. But uh, the goal here is to get to the location without being smashed. Now, it's pretty easy to stay away from those kappas, but some of them are actually pretty aggressive and a little unpredictable, while others you can avoid with ease. Now, uh, we're getting pretty close to our destination here. You can see we're going to hang a right into this area right here and, and then bust a louie into this area. And then look at that. We've got that purple halo. I tried to do like a, you know, like an ancient uh, chant like, I, I, I can't do any. You gotta have more than one person. You gotta have that echo effect going in order to do a proper chant, like, like I was trying to do. But hey, we got that uh, robbery complete. We've got that vehicle token for the bearer, and we also got a ghoul brick. Now look where we are. We are nowhere near. We're way up in Auburn, and uh, we gotta go back down to downtown. So we're actually gonna set that GPS way marker, and uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and speed things up. So we've removed that, and here we are. We're right back to where we started that vehicle robbery. And now, hey, guess what? Remember we told you there was a special secret entrance to get up to that character token on the side of the bank? Well, we are going to show you it now. And luckily, we actually went on that vehicle robbery because on our way back, we happened to notice these acrobatic bricks on the wall here that allow us to go ahead and climb up onto the ledge. And we can follow this ledge up, up, and around all the way to where we find the mime character token. What the what? Uh, yeah, good thing we actually figured him out and found him on our own because he probably isn't hollering for help or, you know, making any noise as he is a mime. Maybe maybe not a good joke. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> All right, I was trying to make it funny, but uh, I'll, I'll work on that. All right, uh, we got that character token, uh, yours and mime. <laughs> uh, not good either? Okay. Uh, anyhow, we're going to go ahead and wrap around the backside of this building here, and you might notice that there's a little alleyway here. And no, it's not just time to smash down your Christmas tree. It's actually going to take us over and around. You can actually go through that alley and pop out right here, or you can go all the way around the building. But our goal is to get up on the side of this. Now, I apologize for any of you using the quick links to get to the coffee break, as I did not show you on the map where we are. And I don't think we do a good job of it until after we uh, do the coffee break. So my best piece of advice, if you're lost, is look for the free, roam star free run starting point. I said free roam, didn't I? Free run starting point. Right behind that is going to be a little blue and white checkered acrobatic wall that will give you the ability to climb up there. Now, hey, if you look over there, you can actually see a super brick, and it looks like a big blue pipe that will allow you to climb all the way up top to the building, which then I think you can jump and drop down and back onto where we are. Uh, who knows? Maybe there's another super brick up there as well. I opted not to go chase that one down as we have way more than we need, and uh, we're going to find a whole bunch more along our journey without going out of our way in this particular video. So, all right, do a little hippa to the hop and you just don't stop and then followed by a little bit of tight pants joey tight roping that's right for all of you who don't know that story uh we'll have to share that a different time but uh anyhow uh we tight roped all the way across and look at this after a long crazy journey up up and around we actually find ourselves a little coffee break so cue the elevator music now <laughs> All right, we've got our break officially completed. Now back to work. Uh, time waits for no man as we go ahead and jump back down. And look at me, I'm doing a little tight pants, tight roping again. But I'm actually just going to drop down and activate the old free run, which actually also kicks down with a character token for the ninja. And we also get a gold brick. So... Now, hey, if this one takes you more than one or two tries, don't feel bad. It's kind of a doozy. However, there are worse ones. I, I do believe it's the next area that we cover. It is terrible. There's this one jump you got to do, and it's just, oh, it's so frustrating. And maybe it was just me. It could have been user error. It certainly happened in past to us but uh anyway so we're basically just gonna follow the path in this particular way there's really only one way to go uh some of these free runs do have multiple paths you can take or maybe use the jetpack to bypass some things but uh in this particular case uh you have to collect all of those free run tokens in order to complete the free run and of course you have to make it to the finish line before that timer runs out too so i always recommend using the old astronaut with the jetpack throughout these because not only if you slip and fall will the jetpack get you out of a 
a tight squeeze and maybe boost you up, up, and back to where you were. But, like, right now, look, I fell down. That was the wrong move. But jetpack got me back up to safety. And this also, the jetpack also helps me get up. And, uh, actually, the jetpack's terrible for this part. So anytime you have to grab onto something above you, the astronaut's terrible. But, uh, in this particular case, the farmer worked out just quite well for me. Just quite well? Anyway, it worked out well. And, uh, we're... <laughs> Making our way all the way around. Now, don't be fooled. There is a super brick down there, and it could distract you and make you lose this free run. And, hey, if you got all the time in the world and you don't mind doing the free run over and over again, feel free to go grab it. Otherwise, uh, go ahead and complete this bad boy by jumping off the wall, shimmying over that little pipe system there. we got to climb up a long tube, and then we got to zip line down, man. And last but not least, we got to spam, 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 up one of these acrobatic walls, and booyaka show! The big jump across right over to the old pigeons. And look at that, officially have completed it by making it into that blue or purplish halo there. All right, so we've got the ninja. Hiya! Now, uh, we'll be able to, uh, I don't know what the ninja does. I don't know if the ninja's got ninja stars or what, but the free run finish line it look, it dropped us in a weird location. I'm not sure if it was just a funny angle based on how the camera was or what, but uh, we're actually going to come down to kind of this peak point down here, and keep in mind... This pig, uh, <laughs> that pig launcher is actually going to come into play here in a minute. But it doesn't really matter as the game tells you where those launchers are. So it's not like you have to remember where it is. But hey, check this out. Next up, we're going to go ahead and put out the barbecue. That's right, put out the fire. Da -da -da -da. All right, so we got a gold brick for that. And we're going to make our way down on the boardwalk. That's right, down on the boardwalk. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that, we got a silver statue over here. And we need to slam dunk some dino might into that bad boy. And as it turns out, somehow I accidentally did it by pulling out of the map. So it was kind of like a double whammy. I hit circle to get out of the map, but it also cued that dynamite slam dunk and blew up that silver statue. So, yeah, we got that going for us, which is nice. Now, uh, next up, we're going to head over to, I believe it's called the Visitor Center. And, uh, yeah, we actually, we, okay, so there's a little story here. So down in that area right below us, over to the right, there is a character token. And it's one of those ones that does not appear to be scannable via the scanner. Now, Dougie and some other people have been telling me that, oh, yeah, use the scanner to find the collectibles. Well, it seems to work for, like, paint stuff, like any color gun swappers or even potentially, like, super bricks and things like that. But I am not able to find any character or vehicle tokens with those scanners. And it proves to be the same in this video. And I'll even prove it later. But I actually uh, was following along with my notes, and my notes were... A little little bit off so uh, that's my bad I, I went through and tracked through and got all this info and then I messed it up and uh, unfortunately uh, it, it took me through a little loop and but I figured it out and, and as we're running this pig to go ahead and launch him up into space again um, I just want you to know that we will return back to this lower visitors area to go ahead and get a character token now since you're here you could go grab it it's actually under one of the stairwells so it's not too hard to find uh, but we will show you it's actually the last character token on our quick link list and uh, feel free to check that out right now if you want, or we'll come back. Meanwhile, we've got the pig over to the launcher, and it's about time for another edition of Pigs in Space! That's right, we have officially launched another piglet back to his wee-wee home, and uh, I guess all the way to... How, how does that work? Uh, this little piggy weed all the way? I don't remember. It's been a long time. My kid's old now. I haven't done those little, little, this little piggy jokes for a long time, so... Uh, anyhow, we've uh, officially got that barbecue taken care of, we got that pig taken care of, and now we're heading back to the visitor center, and this is where it gets pretty awesome. Now, this is actually going to, uh, this handle right here is going to unlock a teleporter, and it's going to take us to Liberty, Lady Liberty Island, and we'll come back to that in a little bit, but we're actually going to pay attention to this painter out front. You notice this artist, this big statue, and you might have noticed that there's a couple of paint icons up on the painting he's making, and luckily for us, we've got that super color gun red brick, which gives us the proper color, because think about that, you'd have to go to a color swapper to go get the yellow and the red colors, and then come back here, that's just too tedious, so thank goodness for that awesome red brick and look at that we've got the artiste character token now as a result of finishing the painting for him now just to the side of that character token spot we are actually going to find ourselves a disguise booth box which should look pretty familiar by now you should just get your smash on and then build that bad boy back up and it's also going to give us the old hugh hunter i wonder if that's some sort of a hugh hefner reference it's close but different 
And I was trying to cheat the system here, and I got really lucky, but then the camera angle screwed me up. But uh, and then I was not able to get back up there on that lip. So uh, I was trying to cheat the system. As you can see, there is a, a, a listening point right there. We have to get our scan on from up there. But I could not quite get up there. But luckily for us, right behind us on the outer walls of the visitor center, there is a chicken wing ring spot. And we're going to go ahead and get up there. So rather than run all the way around to the back and go in the little entrance and then hop up on the box to get up, we're actually going to pull out the watering can, man, and go ahead and watch the little sunflower grow all the way up. Oh, so tall. And now once we're up here, we're going to try to make the jump out here, which we could have done. We could have. We could have. We just messed it up. But as it turns out, uh, there's actually the chicken wing ring, which is way better. So we'll go ahead and use that route. So, uh, hey, if you're one of those people that's got, you know, good accuracy and a little bit of luck behind you, feel free to just use the jetpack to get over there. Meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and use the old wing ring. And, of course, because we've got the collect sat nav studs red brick on, we're also going to get paid for floating out there. You can see they all turn into silvers, though. What a crock. I'm pretty sure they always turn into or they they keep green when you get them um, on the gps that's weird that the wing i've never noticed that before i'll have to keep paying attention but uh all right we're out here on the old artiste and uh we're gonna go ahead and get our scan on and it actually didn't take long it's actually right in front of us and look at that booyaka show we actually get the scandal trophy achievement too now that is for uh what is it, scanning 20 different scans i believe it is and oh, listen we haven't done anything other than play the story and free play and then like four or five levels of free roam so this is something that's going to be accumulative over time and it's just a matter of just following along and completing the free roam and story levels and it should come naturally you should, that's not going to be one of those ones that you finish the game completely and you're like, man, I still don't have it. Unless somehow there's a glitch in your game or something. I guess that's possible too. But All right, after the scan, we listen. We hear these guys talk all their shenanigans. They're going to go do some dirt over here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put our foot down and put a stop to all of this. So head over to the purple halo over towards the water area. And look at this. we got a couple of clowns in matching hats. So... Uh, Clearly, they all have the hair, same hairdresser, huh? Because even though they got different colors, it's the same do. And for whatever reason, on the steps, none of them would reach out and attack me. So I had to go down to a flat ground and kind of even things out. Look at that, the old belly bounce. I love that one. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Taking them all down, cuffing and stuffing. Once you get to the final guy, he'll probably run off. But in my case, I actually bounced the second to last guy into the last guy, and they were both down for the count. So cuffed them both, got my gold brick, and of course, we completed that gang's arrested task. And one more check mark off in this particular area. Now, this right here, this is, you know, I was saying just a second ago, maybe if you're, you got some good skill and a little bit of luck behind you. Luck was not behind me in this particular moment. Look, I, I'm walking on the path, and it's not giving me the stuff. And then look, I get all the way to the end, and it's no X marks the spot. Like, what the heck? So I thought, okay, do I want to run off and not get this to kind of help save time and not look like a complete maroon? Or do I want to get this because I'm going to lose sleep over not knowing what was inside that X that marked the spot? So I went ahead and gave it a second shot, and look at that. The second time it works, X marks the spot, and I dig it up, and oh, it was a super build. Break. Ah, we should have known that, right? We should have known. But hey, uh, we're going to go ahead and unbox Lady Liberty Island Teleporter, as we've already mentioned. I probably should have saved this for the very end of our video, but I went ahead and grabbed it now because I wanted everybody to know where this was because I didn't even know. And when I asked Doug, Doug was like, oh, yeah, you just got to use a teleporter. I was like, okay, well, where's the teleporter? He was like, uh... I don't remember. So anyhow, this is where it's at. It's in the visitor center right in downtown, and it's going to give you access all the way over here to Liberty, Lady Liberty Island. And uh, yeah, we've got a special video that's going to be coming out shortly for that too. It's for the True Tourist Trophy Achievement, where you have to actually visit 10 Lego statues scattered throughout the city. And although it's kind of difficult because there's more than 10 Lego statues, uh, we have a list of 10 we believe to be them. And it's kind of hard to determine if one of those statues is for sure it or not. But we've got some good tips and some good info. And uh, we'll, we'll explain it all in the True Tourist video, which if it's not already up, it'll be up shortly, I promise. So, all right, we're making our way inland a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the backside of this building. It's the RFA titled building. You can see these got banners all over it. And it's pretty big. It's got a giant billboard. And it's directly across the courtyard from the main entrance to the big bank there. So uh, we go ahead and da -da -da drill up our way and ride the water up. And now we're actually trudging our way all the way around. I took the long way around because I was for sure thinking there was going to be a super build brick. But it turns out it was just a bunch of studs. So... Yeah, that's right. 
just a studly encounter, nothing too special. And we make our way all the way around, and once we get back, we actually see this acrobatic wall, which we can go ahead and boing our way all the way up. And look at that, there's a crash mat. We've seen that before, haven't we? Where have we done that before? It must have been part of the story when we unlocked that. So anyhow, we've uh, officially made our way all the way up to the very top of the backside of the billboard, and look at this, we got a chicken wing ring. So we're gonna go ahead and activate that, and this one is kind of tricky. It actually floats us all the way down and around over to this other building, and then we actually have to ride a little zip line all the way down to another building. So we're actually kind of going the long way, but as far as I know, there is no other way to get up here. I don't think there is like a, a, an easier path. Now, if they would have let you use helicopters and you could have parked it on the roof and gotten out, that would have been sweet. And however, you probably could use the old crash mat over there, but it's still, you still have to do a fair amount of running and jumping. And, oh, a purple. Look at that. I love me a purple. People. Now, uh, okay, the jetpack gets you up top, easy peasy. We're going to go ahead and use the handhelds to get all the way up to the top of this other backboard. And once we're backboard, billboard. Once we get to the backside of the billboard, look at me, I'm trying to combine words again. We're going to go ahead and get our scan on. And as it turns out, there should only be one orange character, one minifig. There should be other, like, you know, the pig might be orange. There may be some pigeons or some birds that are orange, but only one minifig should be orange. Target hand, press and hold the icon indicated, and he should take off and go running. And this particular chase is pretty awesome, too, because they drop us a fast vehicle. And although he's going around to the right, and it kind of gives you the indication you want to go to the right, don't. Go to the left. We're actually going to cut him off by doing this. And although I car ramrod into a whole bunch of things, including an ambulance that looked like it was going to save somebody's life, uh, I actually, uh, I'm hot on his trail now and he actually tries to throw me for a loop and I go right into a fan I was trying to cut him off again and I go into one of those fences that uh, you know the draw distance on that is a little bit less than preferable look at that though I officially get in front of him I do the old urch, kind of not quite air brakes but the old power brake right in front of him and he's off and running and of course luckily for me I am the police edition of Chase McCain again and I can shoot my grappler at him and knock him down now for whatever reason the, the robbers and the aliens seem to not respond to me when I take them down and try to cuff them I have to use this robber I don't know why but other people have told me I don't need to but for some reason my game is making me do it so if you're having troubles make sure you have the undercover edition of Chase McCain with the grappler out and that should do the trick for you now as you noticed it actually took us a long way away from home and we're gonna go ahead and do that same moment again where we actually show you on the map where we are where we're going and then we'll fade into where we arrive so here we are we're back over in front of the artiste and, and now we're actually gonna go and get the weather girl character token now this one is kind of tricky too as it requires us to go back over to the visitor center and there now we've got ourselves a teleporter remember the chicken wing ring well right next to that chicken Chicken wing ring is a teleporter and you're probably wondering what it was used for unless you got curious and actually tried it out now once you use it it actually takes you pretty much right up above where we were but it drops you right on an active zip line and all of a sudden you are zipping away and luckily for us my jetpack saved my took us there because i jumped and i was actually not gonna land on that billboard but i uh, redirected myself and saved myself once again with that trusty jetpack now we have another billboard we need to scale and we're going to get all the way to the top of that but instead of the main point of interest being up top there we actually have to do a little tight pants tight roping to get across and now we're on this top of this mega building this has got to be the highest building in the area not only because it looks like it but it also has the district conquered part up here point part whatever but uh most importantly we're gonna grab that weather girl character token because that's actually what the quick link was for and hey if you just use the quick link to get to the district conquered go back one and uh, check out how to get to the top of this glass monstrosity and uh it'll show you how to get up here now look at that we have neil armstrong this and uh that's right one great step for minifig kind i don't know we'll, we'll come up with a better statement but uh hey anybody else gonna get sick to their stomach by plummeting off the top of this building i know i would have and hey we actually saved ourselves just a little bit of time because now we don't have to re-ride the old uh water wave up top here and uh, if you didn't manage to land on this rooftop, go ahead and go to that dr dr drill spot. And we're actually going to go back up to the very top of this main billboard. And this time, we're going to use this chicken wing ring. Now, last time, I guess we didn't go to the top of the billboard. Maybe there, I don't know. Maybe there's a second one. I think there was a second one up here. It kind of rerouted us, didn't it? 
Anyhow, regardless of how it worked out, maybe there's another big boy. I'm confusing myself here. We're going to ride this chicken wing ring all the way across the courtyard and up into the top of the main bank entrance here. Uh, pretty cool stuff, if I do say so myself. Now, keep in mind, too, that this bank right here does have a rather large minifigure statue. Um, and that might be... There's no face on it, though. Uh, see, there's... I'm not exactly sure what constitutes one of those ten tourist statues. So, uh, I, I will say that we followed the ten, and I get the trophy when I get to the tenth. So, chances are, if you follow the story, and you get all the way through the free roam, and you get to Lady Liberty Island, I think that's going to be the final spot. Like, I, I don't think you can really miss that trophy achievement. I think you don't really have to visit the statues. I think they just kind of come naturally. But I could be wrong on that, so we're going to do a video for it, and explain what we know and how we got ours so all right uh we did you see us we actually went up we are on the rooftops of the bank now we actually went down the right side i don't think it matters you can go to the left side or the right side it's just important you get up to the very top and fix that fuse box and of course uh oh wake up wake up wake up it's the first of the month get up get up get up cash your checks and get on that's right we got a whole bunch of money for us and uh we're gonna go ahead and drill our way in kind of a methodical order here and it doesn't really matter. You can go any way you want. And we look, look at us. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, but it is important to note that uh, you want to make sure you kind of cover your ground, maybe not once, but twice on those middle ones because they can be kind of cheeky. And I think there's one that pops up. Maybe not. Maybe not. See, look, they look like they're not destroyed yet on the left hand side, but they totally are. But hey, it's pretty simple. The last one's going to be kind of hidden off the camera there. And booyaka show. Hidden behind the ledge, that is. And look at that. We are officially done with our da -da 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 drill through. And we'll take that gold brick, too. Thank you very much. Now, I like doing acrobatic moves, so I got a little excited. And I just wanted to check the left side to make sure we could get up on this side, too. And as it turns out. You should be able to get up there. You should be able to, but maybe not. Maybe you have to get up on the right-hand side. I guess if you go left and you can't get up there, go back to the right side, and you should be fine. Now, hey, we're going to drop down right in front of the bank in the courtyard. We've been here before. We found a character token earlier for painting those little poles all around the town. But, hey, we're going to come back, and right here we're going to smash this boulder that has all sorts of colors on it and get the boulders destroyed. Check mark on our list and collect another gold brick. That's right. And speaking of gold, We've got some more painting to do. You might have noticed that there is this silver flashing bowl. You simply paint him gold. And look at that. We immediately are rewarded with a character token for the Minotaur. That is pretty sweet. We'll take it. All right, Minotaur. I, I, I should have switched to him right now. Uh, that would have been cool to see what he looks like. Now, I was going to say, I thought I remembered on this RFA la, uh, the little ledge over here, the awning, that there was a couple of super bricks. And since they're so easy to grab, and although they're not directly in our path, we do have to go a little bit out of our way. We'll go ahead and grab those guys right now because, hey, we definitely are always in the need for them super brick build bricks. Super bricks. I will just call them super bricks. All right. Next up, we've got some ATMs to destroy. I guess it's just an ATM. We'll go ahead and first make sure you pull out your cash first because you always could use some more studage. Switch to the Criminal Edition of Chase McCain or Rex, depending on who you've got in that slot, and go ahead and smash it. That's right. Spam it all the way till she blows and collect your gold brick. Now, all right, we've got these two wonky buildings side by side, and there are collectibles on top of both. So we're going to start off by going to the one closest to the road, and we're going to use the old watering can, man, to go ahead and push this little daisy and watch it. I guess it's a sunflower, but we'll go ahead and climb it to get to the next rooftop here. And we notice right away that there is a caca bar spot. So we'll go ahead and crowbar that open. And inside, oh, it's just a super brick. I thought it was going to be some sort of entrance or awesomeness, but nope, just a super brick. But uh, hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. We got 647,000 of them. Uh, yeah, we'll, we're probably good in that department but hey we've got another crowbar spot we'll go ahead and crow it open and down inside we can find ourselves a teleporter now truth be told you can actually jump from the rooftop we are on over to the left side and get up and you can actually shimmy your way back and forth and get up on top of here without using that teleporter so there are multiple ways to get up here but that's the most simplified way and i think the way the game was really intending you to use it so up on top pay attention as there is a spice crate spice crate and inside there is an alien so we're gonna go ahead and activate that and he takes off and i start getting my pew 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 on but I miss. Dang it, he drops down to the ground floor, and the chase begins. And look at that, I zapped him, and look, I'm trying to arrest him. He's down, I cannot get him. 
But as soon as I grapple him with the grappler, that icon becomes available. So I don't know what's going on there. Like, I know you guys are telling me I don't need to be. And I've actually arrested people not in the police outfit before. However, for some reason in the free roam, they seem to be pretty specific on needing that grappler and the cuffs. So, damn. If you're having troubles, nah, that's my best piece of advice for you. So, all right, again, we're going to go ahead and drop down into the skylight we crowbar to open and use that teleporter to get back all the way up to the very, very top of the roof. And this time we're going to go pay attention to that old chicken wing ring. That's right. We've got a pig to rescue, so it seems appropriate that we're going to use a wing ring to get there. And, of course, hey, if you have the Collect Sat Nav Studs red brick, make sure you turn it on because you'll get paid on the way there. And look at that. There's even a super brick in the middle, too. So, woo to the hoot. Don't look down. That's all I got to say. I guess that's not bad. And, hey, what's what's going on with that statue below me? Is that It looks like a Sonic ring. I don't know why, but it totally looks like a Sonic the Hedgehog money ring. Now, you could say it looked like a stud, but it really doesn't as there's really no centerpiece to the stud so uh hey you make your way all the way across the different awnings jumping from uh awning to awning and then of course once you get to the end we find little piglet waiting for us we're gonna go ahead and ride him and this one i have to be honest i was a little bit worried when i was making this journey that because we have to go into another area see we are outside of downtown we are no longer in downtown people and as a result i was kind of wondering oh no is this gonna not count for that area of downtown is this gonna count for the new area i believe it's king's court i think is this area i'd have to look at the map again but uh anyhow we're we've got pig loaded up in the launcher and it's time again for pigs in space and old Piglet made it successfully again. We don't know that for sure. He might be a pile of bacon, but he we at least got we got the check mark and the gold brick, so we'll take that and, and assume that everything went well. We'll we'll assume that no pigs were harmed in the making of this video. Now, hey, pay attention to that shiny little telephone poke booth there, as we're gonna need to come back and paint those when we come into King's Court. There are four of them scattered all over, and I think there's four of them. We'll go ahead and get those in shape. But that's in a future video. So we gotta go, we gotta finish this area first. So right back to where we started. So we're gonna go back to that uh, little farmer point there where we can climb up. And now we're gonna use the jetpack to jump from one building to another. And look at that. We've got a whole bunch of crowbarable doors. So we're switching to our Rex Fury and ripping those bad boys open. Now, I do believe because we have the No, I guess not. See, the super breaking and enter should totally solve that for us, don't you think? I feel like it totally should, but it doesn't seem to. We still have to spam that button. And uh, there are three that have super bricks, and of course one that has the red brick for the wonder, the wonder whistle. That's right. Uh, this the, the wonder. It's not as wonder as, as it might claim to be. It, it's it's cool, but it just kind of changes the different horn sounds um, or tooting sounds, however you want to call it. But uh, you know, it, it reminds me a lot. Like right now, we're also playing Cars Three: Driven to Win. Now you can customize the cars, and one of the customizations is you can use different horns, and, and they seem to be like the same horn. So. Uh, we might have to extend our library of sounds a little bit there, Warner Brothers. Uh, anyhow, uh, we have talked right over this. We actually used a couple of wall run points and a climbable wall to get up to where this kitty cat was, and we rescued old Emmett. That's right. The cat has officially been s stored away safely uh, thanks to a fish that we always seem to have in our pocket of our coat. That's kind of weird, huh? All right, check this bad boy out. little red racer over here. We got a time trial, and this one so far is the worst. I had to do this one probably 10 times. I'm not even kidding. Now, I saved you the hassle. You don't have to watch but just one successful run, but it did take me quite a few attempts, and a lot of it has to do with the way that the turboing is right here going over these bridges. Like, sometimes it seems to really boost you, and sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes it launches you straight, and sometimes it launches you sideways. Now, another one was this one right here. Once you land, you have to turn a hard right like a hard right, and that was a difficult turn for me because I was never landing kind of uh, in a manageable way. I was always sideways or on my side or flipped over on my lid or something, but I just got really lucky on this run because once I got off of the docks, like those first couple of jumps were really the only problems. From then on out, it was pretty much easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This one was a little tough too, around the corner, all right, down the stretch, and yeah, see, it's just tight fit here, tight fit, and look, you hit the wall and all of a sudden you're done. But I would save your turbo for points of impact, like right now, like when you're trying to boost, I wouldn't boost when you're just rolling, only boost when you're slowing. 
if that makes sense. So you gotta go, oh, see, look at that. You gotta go around the bull, but I took it a little too close and I flipped over on my lid and it looks like it wants you to launch through that ring there too, but I went around it instead. And luckily for me, I took no chances and I plowed right through whatever those little, I don't know what those were. They were some sort of like kiosks or something, but took them down, man, and uh, completed the time trial and we have officially unlocked the Draconis. That is gonna be my new favorite vehicle of choice. And uh, we'll go ahead and do some driving around in that in a future video, I'm sure. Speaking of which, you know, often some YouTubers will do specific videos on a special character or vehicle or something. Do you guys want to see that kind of stuff? Do you want to see, like, a special video for Rex or a special video for Cowboy or whatever? Like, let me know if you want to see that. And, uh, hey, this, this, is, uh, this is train station activation here. We want to make sure we follow the old metro sign. That's always a good indication that you've got a train station that needs to be activated. So go down there and smash the old green box and rebuild it up into the terminal and booyaka shout. You'll be done. And this next one, this one is a little bit tricky as it is a super brick build and it gives us a gold brick, but it also kind of unlocks a character. Is it a character dog? I think it's a character dog. We'll have to see in a second. I, I'll verify that as soon as we're done here. But basically what happens is we spawn this giant Ferris wheel and then it spawns a token kind of uh, in the middle. You can see there's a jump that jumps from one side of the area to the other. See that? We're actually going to have to use that in order to find that token. Now, uh, I'll be honest, it was another doozy twosy. I probably took like 15 or 20 attempts at it. I actually destroyed two cars. Luckily for me, the car I started with was yellow and the car I finished with was yellow. So it kind of looks like it. And I probably could have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you pesky kid. No, I'm just kidding. If I wouldn't have told you. But uh, so I'm going to go and take a couple of steps away from the Ferris wheel. And I'm going to swing the camera around and take a peek at it with a car, that is. And all right, maybe I don't really get a good look at it. But all right, so we got a car and we're going to make our way back over here. And this is not the best route to get there. As you can see, I'm getting stuck and I thought, oh, great. Now I'm going to, this is just not a good example of my gaming abilities. Look, I'm trying to jump, I'm woohoo, but I'm not getting anywhere. I officially get the car into place and lined up. And it's important too that your car has boost. You have to have that turbo in order to reach the height. At least I'm pretty sure you do. And it's a tough one. It's a really tough one. It's hard to see, and you don't really see it until you're getting ready to jump. But there it is. It's right in the middle. And it is a character token for, appropriately, the Ringmaster, right? Uh, anyhow, so I clearly did not land that jump there. and uh, But, I, hey, I got the character token, and that's that's all that really matters, right? So... Uh, next up, we've got a little bit of a jaunt over to this high northeast corner here where the next couple of collectibles are going to be. In fact, the next one is going to be, you probably saw it earlier, there is a super brick build that was right next to where we did that time trial where we got the Draconis. And this particular bad boy, it's pretty simple. It's actually going to give us the Patrolo, though, which is the Paul Blart Mall Cop edition of vehicles. That's right. We have our very own Segway scooter, thanks to unlocking this. Look at that. How awesome is that? I've, I've always wondered how well I would do on one of those. I see people struggling often riding those, and I see people just doing tricks on them and doing jumps and stuff. I've always wondered. I've never got to use one. You, you should sh share some stories if you've had any experience with the Segway down below. That'd be fun to hear. All right. Uh, in this upper northeast corner, right by the tunnel that takes you into the next area, you're going to find on the left-hand side is a watering spot. So go ahead and pull out that watering can, man, and collect that gold brick and add that check mark to our list of items that need to be dealt with in this area. Now, next up, we're going to cross the street, and we're going to go ahead and climb up onto this roof. And it's really just simple. Ride the blue pipe up to that next level up and collect that super brick. We're going to drop into this back corner over here and, of course, crowbar our way in. And, of course, see, look, the breaking and entering works great for the safe, but it seems like it requires us to spam that button to use the crowbar. So, all right. Next up, and most importantly, is going to be the character token that's back here hiding in this corner. So there's kind of this decorative cannon that actually, a little fun fact for you, those cannons were placed for the Wii U version, and they shoot the old Billy Bullet out of them. And uh, I, I believe this is the only area that had those cannons. I don't know that for sure because I didn't play the Wii U version. I've just gotten some info from some of you guys letting me know. And it actually turns out that, uh, or maybe it's the next area, I think. So maybe it's not exclusive to this area, but it's definitely exclusive to Free Roam and the Wii U version. Not There's none of those Billy Bullets in the PlayStation or Xbox version. But, um, yeah, it was pretty cool that they kept the cannons in, even though there's really no explanation other than they're just kind of a 
decorative piece. So, all right. So, hey, remember earlier, if you've been following along in the video from the beginning, I mentioned that there was a character token that I kind of missed and I was not aware of. And that's that's what we're after right now. I, I'm not quite there yet. I'm in the wrong location. So I went to the Ferris wheel. I need to be at the visitor center. So I'm making my way there, settle down. And hey, this would be a great time for you to go ahead and check us out on social media, including Twitter. That's right. If you're into that tweeting type stuff, we would love to get some tweets from you and hear what you got going on or maybe some requests or maybe which game you've completed recently. And hey, if you have any uh, questions or anything like that, we're happy to answer those for you. As any of you have reached out to us, have probably found out either on the YouTubes, Facebook, Twitter, and pretty much anywhere we have an account that you have you know, reached out to us. We're pretty good at responding back. We even have a contact form on our website that we respond to. So, all right, we're getting pretty close to the character token now. In fact, there is the icon there, and it's a Yasmin Down that we're looking for. And it's appropriate that her last name is Down as she's down under the boardwalk. <laughs> Actually, not really. She's kind of under the stairway. So people under the stairs. Now, I just want to point this out real quick, too. I'm standing on top of the character token, and I scanned all over, and Doug told me, oh, just scan for it. So clearly, if you're supposed to see a character token with the scanner, some of them are not showing up, and I'm not sure why. I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know if that's a developer intended, intended feature. I don't know, but that being said, proof is in the pudding. Couldn't see it with the scanner. Luckily, I found it on my own. But, oh, to the yeah, we're going to take a quick look at the overall totals of the area. And, oh, that's that's it. That was actually rather quick. We probably should have made that a little longer. But, anyhow, that's going to wrap it up for LEGO City Undercover Downtown Free Road. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that, found it funny, maybe a little bit entertaining, useful, something. One, one of those, or maybe all of those. And, anyhow, as for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time, see y'all.